Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. My name is Faraz Husseini, and today I will be discussing with you the royal proclamation of the proposed wampum belts between the indigenous nations and the government of Canada. First and foremost, I want to thank you and your administration for taking the time to discuss this very serious subject of indigenous uh, treaty. Um, indigenous nations have used wampum belts uh, for centuries, and it is the way that they form uh, bonds between uh, them and other nations. And we believe that it is integral for the government of Canada to ensure that they are uh, doing what they can to form a close bond with the indigenous nations of Canada. Before we dive in, I wanted to give a brief refresher as to the history of wampum belts. Uh, wampums have been uh, mostly made with white and purple clamshell pieces uh, woven together in patterns of string to visualize friendship, covenant, and peace. This long-standing tradition uh, is used to forge diplomatic ties between uh, them and other uh, peoples. This uh, is a major source of indigenous law as, uh, of course, uh, other uh, cultures use um, formalized treaties. Wampum belts is how uh, indigenous nations uh, signify the importance of that those people with uh, with themselves. One of the earliest recorded uh, uses of the wampum was in 1613 between the Iroquois and Dutch traders. Um, there have been many recorded uses since, uh, all the way until the 1959 renewal of the Friendship Treaty with the U.S. President. Uh, I wanted to discuss one of the uh, one of the most important uh, wampums is the George Washington belt. Uh, in 1794, George Washington asked Congress to authorize a wampum belt to, to symbolize uh, friendship with the Haudenosaunee. This belt uh, represents the ratification of the 1794 Canandigua Treaty. Um, as you can see on this belt, uh, there are uh, many figures that are going around with two uh, in the middle, uh, meant to uh, represent the Mohawk keepers of the eastern door and the Seneca of the western. And along with them are the other people which are meant to signify the, the 13 colonies uh, of the United States. This treaty is com commemorated every uh, November 11th, where the U.S. Uh, distribute cloth to fulfill their side of the treaty. So as you can see, there have been uh, other uh, great leaders that have gone to make these belts, uh, such as George Washington, and we want and we, we hope that uh, uh, your administration uh, extends this, this welcome to the indigenous nations of Canada. So uh, my firm and I have gone through um, many of the past belts to see the major, um, major themes, uh, such as the, in the two row wampum, the friendship belt and the confederacy belt. Uh, in them, we have uh, figures of people, uh, lines that are meant to represent um, uh, rope uh, and other uh, such um, symbols. This brings me to our conception of the uh, wampum belt, uh, art by Gail O'Neill. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, this conception uh, is similar to past wampums in that there are figures with uh, four lines in the middle of white, black, yellow, and red. Uh, it is a straight line wampum, which differs from the George Washington belt, which was a straight line with two uh, adjacent lines uh, at the, on the sides. Um, next, I wanna discuss these, uh, this belt and their features. So the, the design, firstly, the symmetrical design of the wampum represents the continuous nature of the relationship between indigenous nations and Canada. The two individuals hand in hand symbolize the partnership that, indi that indigenous nations and Canada strive to achieve. The silhouette of the individuals of the belt are meant to represent the, multi the multitude of indigenous tribes, whether they be the Inuit, Cree, Iroquois, and so on. Finally, the uh, Canadian government must seek deeper understandings of, it, of indigenous ways of life in order to create treatises that respect indigenous peoples. These ways of life are represented in the remaining symbols on the wampum belt. 
The number four is an integral in, in, in indigenous culture as it represents the four hills of life, the four seasons and the four directions in the medicine wheel. One of the four hills described the acknowledgement of the past and the beginnings of amends, which is a challenge that Canada faces. The lines are colored black, white, red, and yellow in reference to the medicine wheel. These colors represent four areas in which Canada must make amends, the first being physical health. Physical health is access to resources that Canada has been desolating for centuries now. Indigenous nations have inadequate access to clean water and oil pipelines. Next is the emotional branch of the wheel, which is symbolized by the harm that Canada has done to Indigenous nations by ripping children away from their parents and the systemic destruction of Indigenous cultures and ways of life. The third branch is the mental gift, which is the reconciling of Canada's horrible residential schools in which children were forced to be indoctrinated into Canadian ways of life and told to forget where they came from. Lastly is a spiritual branch, which is Indigenous connection to their creator. It commemorates the need to make amends by encouraging Indigenous spiritual modes and their passing on to the next generations. Next, uh, women, are, women are a focal point of the wampum belt as they had been one of the most affected as more than a thousand indigenous women have been murdered over a span of 30 years. We seek to increase awareness of disproportionate violence experienced by indigenous women. Even more so, we believe that women hold our societies together and is, it is why both ends of the wampum belt are women. Women's roles were and are diverse and include hunting, healing, uh, and uh, holding positions of power such as knowledge keeping. Without women in the belt, the belt would simply feel incomplete. Similarly, society feels incomplete without women. Women's role and their importance is a significant element that needs to be recognized and appreciated. Next, I wanted to discuss the application of this wampum belt to current issues. As just this past week, uh, China lashed out against Canada and other Western countries saying that uh, they have no right to criticize the regime's human rights records, considering our own treatment of uh, First Nations um, by the Canadian government. The criticism was uh, China's response to sanctions against the regime this week over uh, human rights violations against the minority Muslim uh, population of the Uyghurs in the Xinjiang region. Canada, the US, the UK, and the EU have issued sanctions against China uh, as a concerted effort to uh, put pressure uh, and an end on what the Allies are calling a systematic campaign of repression. Chinese authorities uh, have arbitrarily detained more than one million Uyghurs and other ethnic minorities and subjected them to political re-education, forced labor, forced labor and torture, among other abuses. It is now uh, more essential than ever that Canada uh, displays the peace and uh, uh, treaty between uh, First Nations and uh, their Canadian government as other countries are looking to us when they are uh, uh, planning on deciding on how to deal with their own people. China is uh, claiming that these are all lies and disinformation and this is uh, a reflection of how Canada had treated uh, First Nations uh, in the past. In conclusion, um, our firm believes that we must look forward when it comes to the prosperous relationships that the Canadian government and Indigenous nations can have while never forgetting and respecting the hardships of the past. Now more than ever, other nations are looking to us and we must display our multiculturalism and bonds. We believe that the 2021 Wampum Belt reflects these values. The 2021 Wampum Belt reflects the values of the Canadian government in restoring justice between them and the First Nations of Canada. We hope that with this presentation that the First Nations of Canada will gain confidence that their government seeks to form bonds and a relationship with them that cannot falter. By doing so, First Nations and, in, and the, the government of Canada can go forward not as separate entities, but as single entity of Canadian. Thank you for listening, and we hope that you enjoyed our presentation.